because more water gets sucked out. Eastern medicine? Okay, I have a vision. Ooh. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market and today I will be eating like another YouTuber for a day. Today I will be eating like San Vloé. I do apologize if I'm saying her name wrong. So San is a fellow YouTuber and she is or was a model. Okay, she is very, um, very gorgeous, very pretty, very beautiful. She makes lots of videos on, you know, what she eats, her her kind of diet, exercise routine, just lifestyle, fun, you know, nutrition, fitness sort of videos. She's not a vegan, so I will be veganizing one of her what I ate in a day videos. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm excited, although I cheated, of course, as I always do. So I did have um, some coffee this morning. Okay. Basically, I'm like on autopilot in the morning and I just do my little morning routine and I make my coffee. So that's like the first thing I usually have and I don't think she drinks coffee. She normally drinks matcha. So I will still be drinking her matcha, but I've already had coffee. So you're just gonna have to deal with that. Yes, it's part of my morning routine. Guys, don't take away my morning routine, okay? Let's go make matcha. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the whole matcha setup, okay? These matcha drinkers, they've got the thingy to mix the matcha and I don't have that. Let's go make matcha. So one of the things that Sam mentions in the beginning is that she drinks lots of water, so let's do that, okay? I also drink quite a bit of water. So first thing in the morning, she says that she drinks water, which is what I always try to do as well. Please ignore the mess in the background. Okay, now let's see how she makes her matcha. Comment down below, are you a tea drinker or a coffee drinker or do you not drink either? Okay, so it seems like you boil the water and then you like sift the matcha. What is that device where it's like a matcha making... Water. Mm. Matcha, 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 matcha. Matcha. So this is the matcha I'll be using. I got this from Thrive Market. It is organic tea. An uplifting and vibrant Japanese green tea, medium bodied, finely ground, caffeinated green tea powder. Now I do love me some matcha. I actually love matcha, especially in like desserts, but I don't seem to drink it too often because I'm such a coffee person, but um, let's make matcha. How much do I use? Doesn't really matter. Do I have to sift it? You know what, I'm too lazy to sift anything. Let's just make it. I don't have these anymore guys, but maybe I'll bring my mugs back. All right, let's just add some matcha into my mug. Mmm. Like, do you need to use the special tools? Matcha lovers, let me know what do the tools do. Okay, so we've we've made our matcha. See, it's easy when you don't follow all the steps. <laughs> there you go, let's drink it. It smells delicious. Mmm, it's good. Mmm. Oh, it's very lovely. All right guys, so I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit and then we can make breakfast. I am about halfway through the matcha, but I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna make breakfast. It looks like San did a little workout right after her matcha. Um, I like to do my workouts later in the afternoon, so... So we'll skip that. So for breakfast, it looks like she has a smoothie and it looks super healthy. Okay. Looks like she adds some frozen banana. I'm gonna add maybe about one banana, but it's all stuck together. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut this frozen. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna add approximately like one banana. And then she adds frozen spinach. Great. Some frozen mango. She adds some like collagen, but collagen is actually not vegan, but there are like supplements that enhance your collagen production. So I'm gonna use this one by Plant Fusion Complete Plant Peptides Collagen Beauty. This one is in strawberry lemonade, so I guess it's gonna give it like some kind of strawberry lemonade flavor. I haven't tried it, so we're gonna add a scoop of that. Add that. 
And then she also adds what is called ashwanga root powder. I don't really know anything about ashwanga. It's a dietary supplement sustainably grown and harvested, a rejuvenating herbal tonic. Yeah, it looks fancy. Ashwanga is also known as the Indian ginseng because its actions and uses are similar to those of Chinese ginseng. Okay. Yeah, it's like traditional like Eastern medicine. Okay. San says that ashwanga is a superfood and it can reduce the stress in your body and it is very strong. That is what she said. So I have heard that the taste of this is quite strong. So I'm not going to add too, too much. Definitely smells herby. Herby? Is that the right word? I'm just going to add like just a small amount. I'm scared. Okay. It says serving size is one and a half teaspoons. I'm just going to add one teaspoon because it does smell quite strong and I don't want this to taste super herby. Very fancy smoothie we have going on here. Um, and then we're going to add some almond milk. So I'm using this one right here from Thrive Market. I like this one. It is unsweetened. It's nice to add into smoothies and stuff. Um, so we're going to add that. I'm just going to add about a cup of this. Okay. Now we can blend. So I did have to add a little bit extra almond milk. Ooh. Oh, there's some chunks, but that's okay. Oh, that's like almost perfectly fitting this glass. That's so satisfying. I'm a little scared. Let's give this a try. It looks nice and smooth. Mmm, it's good. It's refreshing. It's not too overwhelming. This wasn't too overwhelming, thank God. It tastes good. Yeah, this also isn't too overwhelming. It just tastes quite nice. Mmm, I'm happy. I feel healthier already. I am actually quite impressed with this. It's very refreshing. Ever so slightly sweet. Not too, too sweet. Mmm. I would make this again for sure. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this, then I'm gonna do some work, and then I will see you at lunch. All right guys, so before we jump into lunch, I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Thrive Market. If you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based marketplace and they specialize in natural and organic products sold at discounted prices for their members. And members actually save an average of $32 per order, which is super awesome. So how it works is basically you sign up for a membership and they have two different membership options. You can do the month-to-month -month membership, which works out to be $9.95 a month, or you can do an annual membership, which is a lot cheaper. That works out to be $5 a month. A month. So on their website, you can find so many wholesome, healthy, sustainable products. They have grocery items. They've got home products, beauty products, skincare products, so, so many different kinds of products that you can purchase. And of course, they have tons of vegan options available. Everything is delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. And of course, one of my favorite things about Thrive Market is that they have an awesome program called Thrive Gifts, where they basically give a completely free membership to a family in need or a veteran for every paid membership. So when you get a membership, you're actually giving a a free membership to somebody in need so that they can actually benefit from it as well and they can also get healthy products at discounted prices. And of course, right now is the perfect time to join Thrive Market because they're offering you guys 25% off your first order and a free gift. Yes, guys, 25% off and a free gift. Yeah, make sure you check out that link down below and thank you so, so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, let's move on to lunch. All right, guys, so for lunch, it looks like San made this Dutch thing called Kip Carry. Now, I searched this up. I'm not saying that right, by the way. I am not Dutch, okay? Kip Carry, I think that's how she said it. When I Google it, it says Coronation Chicken. It says coronation chicken is a combination of cold cooked chicken meat, herbs and spices, and a creamy mayo-based sauce. It can be eaten as a salad or used to fill sandwiches. So of course we're gonna make the vegan version of this. And actually San did suggest for the non-meat eaters to potentially use mushroom. Now you guys know how I feel about using mushrooms as a meat replacement. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I do not believe in that, okay? The thing is I love mushrooms, so we are still gonna be using some mushrooms, but we gotta add something a little bit more satiating, a little bit higher in protein. So that's why I decided to use some white kidney beans instead or with the mushrooms so that we are adding something, you know, that is a little bit more filling in our lunch instead of just mushrooms. So what I did was I took some white kidney beans and I just mashed it up so that it's nice and mashed. And I also wanted to add some mushrooms because like I said, I do love mushrooms. So all I did was I chopped up some mushrooms and then I just sauteed it for a little bit just on a nonstick pan. 
just to cook it up and then I just put both into a nice little bowl here so the interesting ingredient that she asked to this which I guess is normal for this dish is pineapple so I'm adding she says about half a cup of chopped pineapple I have probably a little over half a cup so I'm just gonna add that to the bowl and she also adds some green onions so of course gotta love green onions of course i'm gonna add a bunch of that um she uses for the seasonings one tablespoon of curry powder and one teaspoon of turmeric which is whew, quite a lot of turmeric we're gonna add that in so it's like a curried like chicken salad and then she also adds some coconut yogurt so two tablespoons of that so i'm using plain coconut yogurt and i'm also adding in two tablespoons of vegan mayo and let's mix this. Oh, I should have used a bigger bowl. Why do I do this all the time? I always use too small of a bowl. Okay, let's mix this together. It's gonna be okay. Let me know if you guys have heard of this dish because it's my first time ever hearing about it. And then all she did was take some sourdough bread, which I have some in my freezer. So I'm just gonna take two pieces out and she made it into a nice sandwich. Now she does put some coconut oil on top of the sourdough, but I'm not really a big fan of like using coconut oil in certain things. I don't like that like coconutty flavor in a lot of things. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of vegan butter. Okay, I did forget one thing. She does add some lime juice or lemon juice. So I'm just going to add half a lime in here. Ooh, very excited to try this. And that's pretty much it, pretty simple. So I used about one cup, a little over a cup of the beans, about a cup of chopped mushrooms. And then everything else, I just followed her recipe. See how easy it is to veganize something? Okay, we've got the toast. Let's put a little bit of vegan butter. I think this would make about two servings, so I'm just gonna add about half. All right, let's close this up. Just gonna cut this in half. Well, let's have a look. Ooh, ooh la la. There you go. Okay, that's lunch. All right guys, so I forgot to add lettuce into the sandwich, which is what Zan did, so I just grabbed some lettuce. We're gonna have it on the side, okay? This is the sandwich, look at that. It looks good. Okay, let me give this a try. Mmm. Good. Mm. Nice and creamy. Still tastes fresh because of the pineapple and the lime, it tastes pretty fresh. good delicious try it out guys i'll talk to you later all right guys so that lunch was delicious and i am now going to start preparing the dinner part i'm not going to eat dinner yet but there is a little bit of marination involved okay so san made these miso marinated salmon steaks so i thought i would do the same but with tofu instead a few things first of all i'm using frozen medium firm tofu so I had some medium firm tofu in my freezer and I took it out and I just kind of microwaved it. You can thaw it out just naturally, which is probably preferred, but I mean, you guys know I'm never prepared for anything. So instead, I just microwaved it in like 40 second intervals. Each time I just kind of poured out the water because what happens guys when you like freeze tofu, it basically does this thing where it creates more air pockets inside the tofu, I think, because more water gets sucked out okay i don't really know the science behind it all but basically when you freeze the tofu you should be easily able to squeeze out more water that way it can soak up more of the flavor okay so whatever you're marinating it's going to soak up more of that flavor look at all that water just squeezing out this is medium firm tofu the reason why i do like to use medium firm tofu sometimes when i freeze it is i find that the end result is a little bit more tender so you almost get like a tender almost meat like um, consistency and I'm like squeezing it usually if you do this with non-frozen tofu it'll just break right it'll just crumble but when you freeze it somehow the chemistry changes okay so I'm just squeezing out some of that water so that this can really soak up that marinade Ooh, I should probably be doing this over the sink and it also kind of changes the texture as well of the tofu as you can see it's already changed the texture because like I said if I were to squeeze this to a tofu that hasn't been frozen it would just break. So it changes the texture to a bit more of a meaty texture and it also allows you to squeeze out more water which will allow you to flavor this much more easily. 
For the marinade, I'm adding a quarter cup of mirin into a pan, and instead of sake, which San uses, I used two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and two tablespoons of water. And then I boiled this for about 20 seconds and added a quarter cup of miso paste, mix this together until smooth, and then I'm adding three tablespoons of coconut sugar until it melts, which just takes a few seconds, and then you just wanna turn the heat down and let this cool down to room temperature. Hopefully it's good. Let me just taste it. Tastes good. So I'm just gonna place it into, maybe I'll place half, and then let's marinate it. Okay, I think it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out for a second. Let's put another piece in. I don't know if you guys can already notice, but it's already, you know, sticking onto the marinade a lot more easily than if it were tofu that hadn't been frozen. So again, if you haven't tried freezing tofu, I don't do it too often because I get kind of lazy. And I also like just regular tofu anyways. I know some people don't like the flavor of tofu or the lack of flavor of tofu or the texture of tofu. Whereas I like it, so to me, I don't need to do this, but I do enjoy doing this for some recipes. Let's close that. And then we have two more little pieces. I'm just going to dip this in. Like so. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna pour some of the marinade. All right guys, so now I have my tofu pieces uh, marinating. So I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge and then I will cook them when I am ready. Yay! I'm excited for this. So I'm getting a little peckish and San actually has a sweet little snack for her afternoon snack. She says she is normally not a sweet tooth. So she's on team savory guys. She likes the savory stuff. But in the video, she had a little like little decadent treat, like a healthier, I don't know what it was, like a chocolatey treat. She says she normally goes for something like hummus and crackers. And she also made a few other suggestions. So I made myself a little platter, okay? So I have this a pretty healthy platter. So I have here some crackers and hummus and I also had a little bit of vegan cheese that my mom made this is like a vegan cashew cheese that I think would be delicious with crackers and then I have a little side of strawberries so that's my healthy snack I know that Sam didn't eat this in her video but I need a snack this is my healthy snack this is what she normally eats crackers and hummus so that's gonna be my snack and hopefully that'll keep me satisfied until dinner time okay guys so now I'm gonna make the dinner so with her miso salmon situation which i made miso tofu that's still marinating but in the meantime i'm gonna make some spaghetti squash as she makes now i have never actually made spaghetti squash i don't even know if i've tried spaghetti squash i know they're like the talk of the town okay because it kind of like looks like spaghetti when you like it just looks like, like it's like a giant thing, you know? It looks intimidating. Like I honestly think the reason why I haven't cooked it yet or made it yet or done anything with it yet is because I'm afraid of cutting it in half. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh God. Okay, okay, it's not so bad. <laughs> what was I afraid of? Wait, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Ooh. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So that's the inside. Okay, so um, I guess I just scoop out the inside. And I do have the oven preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, as suggested. We're gonna just scoop out the inside part. Okay, this was really like not that hard. I don't know why I was being so dramatic. It's like me and watermelon, you know? When I just see a big watermelon, I'm just like, that's too much to cut. I love watermelon, but I'm just like, it's huge. So we're gonna take out all the inside part. She poked it a few times with a fork. So we're gonna do that. Don't know how many times. And now I'm gonna get a baking sheet. And then we're gonna place the squash like so. And she added a drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of oil on each one. Like where do I drizzle? Just like in the middle? Oh, okay, sure. So a total of one tablespoon of olive oil is what I'm adding, okay? Or I'm actually adding avocado oil because that's all I have, okay? Hope that's okay with you. So we're gonna do some salt and pepper. And apparently all you have to do is just bake this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes and that's it. So that's pretty exciting. 
And now I'm going to cook up these marinated miso tofu steaks, which I'm actually very excited to try. What San did is that she actually baked her salmon, but what I find is that with tofu, it's just a little bit different. So I think I'm gonna have a slightly different approach to cooking this so that it's more enjoyable. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I have a vision. I have a vision. So I think I wanna pan fry this actually with just a little bit of oil. And then there's a little bit of sauce left. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water into the leftover sauce just to thin it out. And then after I pan fry each piece, I'm just gonna pour the remaining sauce on top. Let's try this. All right, so we're starting by just adding some oil on a pan on medium high heat. We're gonna heat this up for a few seconds and then let's add the tofu steaks. And I would suggest cooking this on one side for at least four to five minutes or so and then flipping over. I ended up flipping mine a few times in between just so that I could get that right golden color. So the spaghetti squash is still cooking, but I'm way too excited about this tofu that I just have to try it right now. It looks so good. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks. Let me just <laughs> cut this up. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. There you go. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Let's just try it. Guys, that is so good. Now it still has the tofu taste. So if you don't like tofu or the taste of tofu, then you might need to marinate it longer, but it is super tasty. That marinade is like really good. Or you might need to squeeze out a little bit more of that water. Oh my God, but it is, oh, that is so good. Oh my God, it is so good. I love that marinade. It's like really sweet. Um, I don't know, it just tastes really good. Mm. I will definitely be making this again because it's actually, I actually can't stop. Like I need to stop, but I can't stop. Mm. Mm. It's just a perfect amount of sweet and salty. Um, mm. So good. Ooh, look, spaghetti squash. So I baked it for 40 minutes as instructed. And now I believe I just scrape. Ooh, this is so cool. How come I haven't done this before? <laughs> this is actually quite uh, satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, this is definitely not a substitute for spaghetti. Okay guys, I know some people are like, ooh, it's like spaghetti. No, it's just shaped like spaghetti. Doesn't mean it's spaghetti. So I know I already tried it, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it again. Let me just try some of the spaghetti squash on its own. Ooh. Mm. I mean, doesn't taste like much, but I think that's the point. You have to like sauce it up. But anyway, let's have some with this delicious tofu, which I'm now obsessed with. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So 
So in her video, San actually also ordered some plant-based pizzas to enjoy with the rest of her dinner. So I did the same thing. I ordered a plant-based pizza from Panago and I very much enjoyed that with the rest of the delicious dinner that I made. And I actually ended up taking this to my friend Daniel's place because we had to record our podcast. About to record the podcast. Hey guys. Yay. Yay. Ready for the podcast? I think so. Well, we gotta eat first. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious as Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do you want a glass of water? Yes, please. Are you uh... some wine if you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for my what I ate in a day video eating like San Vloe for a day eating like a model for a day I know that tofu recipe though. Ooh, I'm gonna do a blog post Showcasing the two vegan versions of the recipes. So I'll link that down below I'll also link San's channel down below and her original video of course Leave me a comment down below letting me know who I should eat like next I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys check them out. The link is down below to get your 25% off your first order. And yeah! And apparently I forgot to say goodbye to you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!